poor is when the light company comes to your house at night and they blow out your candles. We said no lights. Woo! They motherfuckers, they played up. Put that shit up. Put it up, dog. Put it up. They ain't playing, dog. Where the fuck they motherfuckers? That's poor, fuckers. And you know what's good about being poor, though? You can get on food stamps. Now listen up, fuckers. If you ever need assistance, go get it. That's your money. Don't be ashamed to get it. Get your shit. I was on food stamps for four years, and people tried to make fun of me. You're not embarrassed to say that? I'm like, no. But you're on TV. I don't, fuck, I don't care. Like, I was on it for four years. And as a matter of fact, those are the best fucking four years of my life. I was like, bitch, I was barbecuing every weekend. While you was at work. <laughs> and when you got food stands, you spoil yourself. You barbecue shit you can't even afford. Barbecue and ribeyes and sirloins and shrimps and shit. Sausage. That good kind, that Eckridge, that $7.99 a packet kind. I ain't talking about that ghetto box of hot leeks shit, $1.99. You're like 500 leeks for $1.99. I remember them ghetto barbecues. I remember that everybody got to put in two, three dollars and you fucking barbecue the same shit, that big old bag of leg quarters. I mean, no white meat, be a leg in the thigh, leg in the thigh, leg in the thigh, leg in the thigh. And then, then you got fucking people that don't like people on food stamps. My uncle was like this. This fucker come by at lunchtime, try to fuck up my shit. I mean, he get off of work at lunchtime, come to my house. Hey, come on, why not get your job? Let's go right now, I'm in the hiring ten dollars an hour. I'm like, hey, hey, relax, fucker. I'm like, dude, I just woke up, dude. I was barbecuing late last night and shit. You can't be coming here. I got a job for you, goddammit. Right now, $10 an hour. Do you want to work? I'm like, well, shit, I'm on food stands right now. <laughs> shit, I'm still certified for three more months. <laughs> Motherfucker, that's 12 barbecues. I'm cool. I'm straight. I'm straight. Oh, he gonna get mad. You see, you see, I hate motherfuckers like you. You're fucking up our country. People like you are lazy. You don't want to work. I work every day. 20 years, rain and cold. I'm sick. I don't care. I work. I pay taxes for motherfuckers like you. And I'm like, well, you know what, Theo? Your lunch break is over. You better get back to your job before they fire you or you end up fucking up my shit. I depend on people like you, fucker. You fucking with my stands, bro. So I love white people for food stamps. Thank you, white people. You fucking started that shit. Thank you. And you know, I don't pick on white people, man. I used to be jealous of them at first when I was younger because, you know, it, it's different shit for them. Like, white people, like, you know what I mean? They can do shit. I mean, like, the Brady Bunch. To me, the Brady Bunch was a racist show. Fucker, you got six white kids, and that's the Brady Bunch. Six blacks or six Mexicans, that's a game. You go to jail for that shit. I'll be at the park dying. What's your name, boy? Uh, Juan Brady. Juan Brady. That's my cousin, Tyrone Brady. Veronica, come here. Put the, put the. And it's cool for white people, man. We got to give them credit because they're like the bravest fuckers on the planet. I mean, they discover shit for us that, you know what I mean, that we benefit from. And they do shit that we don't want to do. Like these fuckers travel to the moon and fly around the stars. And, but we don't want to do that shit. Come on, man. You want to go? No, no, but just take pictures. Fucking the Blair Witch Project. That freaked me out. The Blair Witch Project. This is how brave they are. These little white kids went to the woods to look for a witch. A bad witch. This bitch kills people. And they weren't even scared, bro. They, you know what I mean? They didn't even take no weapons. Like in case they run into her, fucker, you want a knife or a slingshot or some maze or some shit. What did they take? Fucking cameras. Two of them. Like if they find her, the bitch is going to do an interview or some shit. She's gonna see that, yeah, that's me, I'm the player with, that's me, I kill everybody, bitch, represent, I represent, that's me. I re the only time you see me and my black friends in the woods is when we're doing that fucked up community service bullshit. Some bullshit right here, dog. I ain't doing no 200 hours of this bullshit, I take that shit right now. Go give me a real lawyer. Uh, the UFO thing, bro. I've been doing this for a while. The UFO thing, that's a white thing. Black people in Mexicans, we don't see UFOs. And if we do, we don't tell nobody. 
Hey, fuck, hey, get away from that shit. That ain't none of our business. Go home, puto. Go home, go home, go home. Why do you want to go up to it and take pictures and shit? P point at it, Bubba. They be on TV explaining. Like, well, I don't want to see a Mexican explaining. White people be on TV, man. Man, then I'm up because nobody believes them. Man, I swear to God, that son of a bitch was floating right there three or four days. Going around my trailer, around my trailer. I'm trying to walk. Ain't that right, Mary Lou? Mm -hmm. But you know what, dude? I figured it out. Aliens don't take black people to Mexicans because they're scared of us, bro. Because it'll be a different story. Can you imagine this shit? Let's say the aliens came down and fucked up and took the wrong black dude and the wrong Mexican. Like two of the baddest fuckers from Biloxi, the baddest black dude and the baddest Mexican here. Fucking, let's say Pepe and Leroy. You said the baddest fuckers, bro, they're the baddest fuckers in the hood. And they get abducted. And Jose is explaining to the gang, hey fucker, Pepe and Leroy, they're gone, bro. What do you mean? Bitch, they're gone, the aliens came, they're gone, bro. And you saw this? Bitch, I saw it! The aliens came, the little like, ooh, they're gone, fucker, forever, bro, forever. We gotta get t-shirts, bro, and memory, bro, pictures, and memory, bro, and memory, bro, they're gone, bro. You know, 30 minutes later, Pepe and Leroy will be flying back in. Ooh. Hey, we robbed them fools. <laughs> Check it out, bitch, this shit is ours now. You're freaking out, you fucker stole a spaceship? Fucking Leroy Howard it? This fucker's an ITT graduate, bro, they don't fuck around. And then you gotta ask yourself, okay, fuckers, you got a, a spaceship. Are you gonna, like, help our scientists study the universe and shit? Are you gonna let them fly around the window? Hey, 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 shut up, fucker. We can't tell people we got a UFO and shit. We tell people we got a UFO and then we gotta fucking buy insurance and inspection stickers, all that bullshit. You can't buy that shit, bro. Fuck that, bro. Like, what are you gonna do? Bitch, we're gonna sell weed. We're gonna fly to Mexico, buy it, and just fly that shit around the world. And that's what you do when you're poor, bro. You want to make that quick money. That's why nothing good happens to you when you're poor. Fucking I Dream a Genie. Perfect example. Who got the genie? The rich white dude. This fucker had a good job, good credit, a big house, no kids. The genie's trying to give him shit. He gets all mad. No, 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 bitch, I got money. Can you imagine a broke-ass black dude or a broke-ass Mexican with a genie? Dude, we would abuse that bitch. She be blinking all day. Oh my God, these motherfuckers! Shut up, bitch! Blink! I want some more shit, bitch! Blink! Oh, your friends come over and shit. Your friends come over and you're like, "Hey, fucker, you want something? Blink, bitch! Give us a blink, bitch!" Three weeks later, the genie's all pregnant and shit. I'm gonna fuck my genie. Mississippi, my name is Swampy Arias. Thanks a lot, bro. Thank you, fuckers, for the love, bro.